What am I, T.O.? I mean, I, I assumed you were, you know, you're running the tournament and stuff, but no, that's, that's, that's my mistake, man. Yes. It's definitely my mistake. Okay, Chris going with the Fong, I see. Wants to, wants to style a little bit. The rare uh, Fong costume. You got like 50 ones for Chun-Li, and you got this extra one for Fong. You know, and from what I recall now, correct me if I'm wrong, I think they gave this character, this uh, this this skin, uh, skin, you know, what I call this costume out for free, just to kind of appease the Fong players. Like, hey, we're not going to fix him, but we'll give you, we'll give you a nice costume. costume the player. costume is yeah. really sweet, though. Getting that zoning game in. No need to react to things if you just have a save setup going over and over again. Yeah. Hey Manny, not really sure how to get through. This is right here, the difference between a Platinum and a Master Player. <laughs> how many balls can you throw out? But you gotta follow, but <laughs> that's... I think I really do need to turn off the... Um... The Twitch alert sound while I'm doing this tournament. I keep forgetting to do that. That was one. That was a habit that was so hard to break for me. Okay. When I was running these, is uh, having those on or off. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason why I didn't call out who followed me is because I actually didn't even put that uh, little dashboard up. Cause like it was just a reaction. I'm like oh, follow, follow noise. Boom. Look at All it. Right. <laughs> oh, oops. So Kanani's uh, doing a little bit of work here. Right, but this is this is the difference between uh, a master player and the and other people is like so Chris had a game plan, right? It was the zoning. This and now he's he wasn't quite working, so he's changed it up. Putting on that pressure. And then wakes up super because he probably assumes that he Manny doesn't actually know how to punish that. Which it looks like he didn't. Which which I would say most people really don't, because it's such a weird super to such a weird super to punish. Whereas like others are like really, really easy, right? Like, yeah. you have like a good amount of time to sit there and think, okay, what am I gonna do? The math goes through your head, you hit, you hit your buttons and you're good yeah. to go. With, well, with Fongs, you gotta be very quick on that. Yeah. Very quick on that stuff, so you're not gonna do that. Well, a lot of people are just kind of afraid of the, the poison balls too, but um, Penguin actually uh, taught me how to deal with that, which is, it's pretty simple. You just walk up, and, uh, walk up, jump, and you wanna walk up, up to the first ball where it drops. You want to stop right before that and do your jump, and that's uh, the correct punish. One of those things, it's like, it's just, once someone has told you what it is, it's like, oh, yeah, that's easy. Well, that's obvious, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's obvious, but it's like, oh, well, that's good. I can do that every single time. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunate that the, uh, the parries on that instant arrow overhead just took them the wrong way, and with that, Chris takes game one. Such are the uh, the woes of the Alex player, right? Yeah. In a world of autocorrect DPs, Alex's V trigger is just <laughs> will not will not take you that far. Well, I guess on the one hand, well, on the other hand, we don't want uh, a Dante situation like in Marvel vs. Capcom, where he all of his uh, target combo special moves autocorrect, so it doesn't matter what you're doing; he's coming at you. Yeah, they took that out of the game at some um, recently because it proved to be a little bit too powerful. This is, phone pressure is ridiculous right now. Oh yeah, there, there really isn't much to commentate in a match like this. It's just like okay, he's gonna keep hitting. He's doing frame pressure. traps. He's got some yep. fake frame traps in there, but it's the Chris is really taking advantage of the fact that uh, Team Any doesn't have matchup knowledge. And that's and that's it. There's just it's just a lack of matchup knowledge from Humani. Ooh. Okay. All right. I see how it is, Chris. <laughs> that was not nice. That was not nice. Um. Oh man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> right. What do you say? As long as Chris doesn't rage quit when he loses, I'm all, I'm all good. Actually, no, I take that back. I really hope that he rage quits. That would, that would complete my uh, tournament experience. 
what is it, Jiva or something? I, I've, I've never known Chris to do that. He will, he will take his L's uh, very, very quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Despite, despite of all his uh, boasting and chat and his uh, silly little taunts, you know, if he takes an L, he's gonna hold it. Which is, you know, which is respectable. And with that, he oh, made putting on the offense, figuring out that Chris's anti airs aren't really all that good with Fang. Get out of here! Get out of my face! And he's just starting to punch challenge things a little bit more, which I like. Uh, that one's plus, can't challenge that one. Side switch into low, but doesn't confirm the combo. It gives P Manny a chance. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, and then just the frame oh, traps. No. Chris, stop it! He's a young man. He doesn't deserve this. He's just a boy. <laughs> Fong jab is is godlike Kante here. Also brain dead character. Also brain dead character. <laughs> I think. Okay, so I'm gonna predict that he thinks. He thinks the only non-brain dead character is Abigail. Oh, that's that's right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna predict that. Well, that makes sense. I mean, such a such a hard character to play. You know? Nuance, I mean, nuance, footsies, and frame traps, and uh, you know. There, there's so much work. You know, I really respect any player who's still so with Abigail season three because. I mean, they just took anything good away from them, and you, you really gotta put the work in, you know? You really gotta put the effort in. I mean, his body is so big, he cannot physically block everything. Right, he just he gets so hit, because it's, he's so easy to hit, because he's just so big. Yeah. Abigail Abigail's king of brain dead characters? Oh well. We're just gonna have to agree to disagree. Yeah. I mean, you're speaking to a platinum player here named named by a uh, Kamikaze Warrior. I think you would know. Thanks for reminding me that I haven't gotten my diamond bag yet. <laughs> uh. This pressure is just relentless. Yeah. Uh, Man, here we go. The the Ooh, super combo. I like super it. Combo. No escape! That's good, Manny really recognizing that Annie is not there. Nothing. Oh, there's one. Oh, but tries to sweep. No good. Oh, we don't do those. We don't do those. Perry's on deck. Final round. Bing, bing. Manny's still alive. Still alive. Chris is still sitting on tournament. Oh, sorry, for an, uh, match point here, though. Yep. Match point. Oh, this is not looking fair. This thing, folks, is why Japan considers Fong to be S plus tier. Once they saw what he's capable of. Oh, a little bit of lag probably caused Chris to drop his combo there. No matter. Gets the throw. That's gonna be it. Yeah. Yeah. Chris moves on to grand, yeah, grand Finals.